for children with autism, a lot of the times they will have a special interest they become very passionate about. And for one local teen, his is hamsters. And now he's trying to help as many as he can. Oh, come here, you. I'm not sure if anyone loves anything as much as Copeland loves hamsters. You can pet her, though. Okay. Oh, you're so soft. It's contagious. Once I got my first hamster, I really had a connection with them. And I think that's mainly because since I'm autistic, I'm able to see and connect with them at a much deeper level. It sounds like you're saying that autism gives you like a superpower. It, yes. Talk. Now, Copeland had been diagnosed with OCD and anxiety earlier in life, but his parents actually had not considered that he could have autism until the pandemic began, when school went virtual. Suddenly, everything clicked. When somebody's in fourth grade and they're talking about hamsters all the time, it's very age appropriate. When they're 15 talking about hamsters all the time, you think maybe there's a connection that they're having that is not neurotypical. No. No. Hmm. There's his room. Fittingly adorned with hamster decor, his father even built a shelf so he could sleep next to the hamster you met, Chloe. But after Copeland's last hamster, Greta, passed away a few Christmases ago, he was heartbroken, and his father had an idea to honor Greta's legacy. Well, my dad actually had the idea, why don't you start a nonprofit? And I thought he was joking at first, and then I thought it was a joke at first. Oh, he was serious, and they started a nonprofit called Greta's Hamster Rescue dedicated to helping hamsters get adopted and educating people about how to properly care for them. I want other people and their hamsters to be able to have that deep connection. He's got a board of directors. Board members are Travis Libers, who's my dad, Christine Libers, my mom, Albert Galley and Jacob Crumbine. Albert Galley is my grandfather. And a website for people to donate to and adopt from called saveahamster.org. Oh, oh, good boy. And now they have their first hamster that's been given to them to be put up for adoption, named Fig. He should be available soon. They've also raised over $1,000 in a month, mostly anonymously, through the internet. That really got it going, that I felt someone else believed in me other than my parents, who would probably just say it anyway. And in the meantime, his parents are just so proud and are grateful for how this passion has led their son down so many new paths. That pushes the envelope for him on a lot of skills. There, he's developing these skills now through his strength of, of empathy towards hamsters. He's the man. And next Tuesday is actually National Hamster Day, so he said he's making multiple cakes for everyone at school. If you'd like to donate or adopt, his website is saveahamster.org.